Okay, guys, let me know if you guys can hear me well. Let me know if you guys can see me well. Put something in the box. Let me know if you guys can uh, hear me and see me well. Yes, okay, guys, very good. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Now, sorry, but last week I had some extra, had a lot of work to do at work. Notice today I'm home. So I had a lot of work to do last week at work. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to, I didn't get a chance to do any stream last week. So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, get started. So if this is the first time you're joining the live session, well, welcome to the to our live session. If it's if it's if you're coming back, thank you for coming back. Tonight I'm going to do about 10 practice questions with you guys and I'll be answering any of your questions that you may have. Just go ahead and put it in the chat box and I'll try to get around to it. So I am on a shorter time notice that uh, I am on a shorter time notice that I normally am. Generally I, I don't have anything to do after this, but I'm still teaching a class. I gave them a practice test to them. I'm teaching a security class. I'm giving them a practice test to do. So they are take they're they're doing that while I help you guys out. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and uh, let me answer any questions. And again, if you have any questions or comments. You can just go ahead and put it in the chat box. I'll try to make sure I get around to it. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, questions, comments, put them in the box, guys. Put them in the box. Hopefully you guys have been practicing. Hopefully you guys have been doing your, your, your exams. Hopefully you guys <clears throat> have been doing a lot of... Uh, Studying, passing your test. That's what we want to hear. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I got the first thing here. Jamil says, I'm learning a lot with your classes. Mm, thank you. Thank, thank. No problem. That's, that's what I'm here for. Cameron says, uh, my exam is in 10 days. My results. Yeah, you're fine. 70, so you got the mindset down. 75, yeah, just review. You know, 75 is okay. Feeling confident, do you think? Yeah, you'll be you'll be fine. I'm pretty sure in two weeks or so you'll come back and let us know that you ace your exam. Yeah, you'll kill it. Uh, Clan Chief says, Hey, Andrew, I passed my exam on the 16th, all right, a few days ago. Three above target. All right, congratulations to them. That's what we want to hear. That's what we want to see. We want to hear you, hear you guys ace your exam. That's that's what this is all about. I celebrated for <laughs> three days. You know, I always ask, are you guys celebrating? Well, uh, thank you for your mindset and the mock exam. I finished a year-long journey. It stopped twice, and I found, okay, my thing is cutting it now. Uh, I stopped twice before I found your material. And, you know, that's okay. All right? If you find, you know, if you're using my material uh, or using all people's material, maybe it wasn't interactive enough. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you guys were able to, I'm glad that you guys were able to, uh, that you were able to find the right material and get it over with. You know, sometimes people procrastinate when they take their exams. People procrastinate. People don't put the time and effort in and they keep pushing it off and you took it congratulations to did you, did you did you get a couple of cakes i saw on reddit people were celebrating with cake and beer that's the way it should be did you get a piece of cake did you get did you drink a couple of beers hopefully you did all right congratulations okay what do we got uh babula says uh he Andrew attempted the simulator twice First, 77, second time, I've gone over any advice to take your exam. Uh, no, I th you got your exam on the 24th. No, I think you're fine. You know, I don't think you need to do anything anymore. Uh, I don't think you need to uh, even attempt to, to study much. You got 89 on the second time. Go and take your exam. You got two days. Get a good night's sleep. 
you're going to be okay. All right, asking somebody. Is there any math questions? You know, that's a good question. And a lot of people are not really having math questions on the current test. A lot of people are just, you have to know what this formula is. Know what that formula is. But you don't necessarily need to memorize formulas. Not anymore. You go back a few years ago and you needed to memorize formulas. So, But for right now, you don't need to memorize formulas. Simon says... I passed my exam on March 14th with three above targets. Lobster dinner. Hmm. That does sound good. I just dropped by to say uh, thanks for the mindset and the mock exam. You are the best. You know, you're the best. Remember, you're the one that did the work. You put in all that work. And you, you celebrated well by getting a lot. But did you get some cake and beer when you had that lobster dinner? Uh, congratulations, Simon. I'm very proud of you big weight off your shoulder, right? And that's what we need. We need to get those, get that weight off our shoulder. Ravi, Andrew, it's 3 a.m. I don't even know where this is. Where is that? Um, but I'm here just to tell you a great fun app towards you. Pass the PMP on the 10th of March. Now, thank you. Well, congratulations on that. Welcome to the PMP club. You know, that's what, that's what this is about, right? It's about ensuring that you're able to ace your exam and you know what? I'm super happy I was able to help you pass. Congrats. Did you did you celebrate well? Did you get a couple of cakes? A couple of carrot. Don't forget the carrot cake, okay, guys? Uh, did you celebrate well? I think he did. I forgot to read the next one. It says, guys, the most valuable info from Andrew's course is to take the exam. Take the exam seriously. Yes. You need to, you need to take the exam seriously. The simulator helps a lot and... And through, I was scoring 90 and 100. This guy was scoring 90 and 100 in the simulator. The, t the exam was not a piece of carrot cake. Yeah, it, the, the exam is not. You see, if you have the mindset, if you have the right training, your the exam is not so difficult. Now, if you don't have the right mindset, you don't have the right training, then the exam becomes very, very difficult. All right, so congratulations, Ravi. Make sure to celebrate well. Did you have that cake yet? Uh, Amber, my exam is this Thursday. Scored 78, 80. Okay. Yeah, your scores are good. I have high anxiety. There's no reason, Amber, to have anxiety. This exam is not the end of the world. All right? It's not like super bad things are going to happen to you on this test. So... Your scores are very good. Some of the highest I've seen. Stay positive. Statistics is is not against you. It's for you. People that score this high has more than likely or more than likely will pass their exam. So I don't know what you're worried about, but I think you're going to be just fine. I think you got this, Amber. You're going to ace this exam uh, soon. <laughs> All right, so let us know, Amber. Um, let us know next week. I'm pretty sure you're going to come back and you're going to say, Hey, Andrew, I passed that that exam. Hey, Andrew, I've been watching YouTube, but this is actually the first time I'm live. Heard good things about you. I like how you explain everything. Well, thank you. Welcome to our live session, uh, Jenny. All right, Smith says, Hey, Andrew, I'm almost finished your Udemy course. Taking ex uh, questions on the exam sim, hoping to pass. Yeah, keep your, you know, go through the exam. Just go through the simulator. By the way, don't forget the simulator is valid for 60 days. I had I had some people uh, tell me that the 60 days expire. You know, when you guys buy the simulator, keep in mind it expires in 60 days. So if you um, don't utilize it, you're going to waste your money. So if you got your simulator coming up in May, make sure to do all the practice tests before then. Amber, trust me, you will kill it. Yes, you will kill the exam, Amber. Your scores are very good. All right, you got this. Amber will crush this. Amber, when, I'm pretty sure when you come back next week, you're going to let us know. You got three above targets. Michael says, greeting from Ireland. <clears throat> First time joining live, passed my exam last 
Friday. Okay, very good. Three above target. Congratulations. Big thanks to you, uh, the YouTube videos, the PMP study guide. There's this study guide right here. Uh, and the simulator, the TI simulator. So, congratulations, Michael. That's what we need to hear. Did you celebrate well, Michael? Did you get a couple of beers? I know Ireland has that Guinness stout, that draft stout. It's good stuff. Uh, what else more? Smittix. That's good stuff um, from Ireland. Congratulations, Michael. Make sure to celebrate well. Make sure to eat a couple of pieces of cake, too, while you're at it. He did some. Okay. I didn't read the next line. I don't have carrot cake. I got a pint of Guinness. And maybe more from. Okay, very good. <laughs> I didn't read that one. I'm actually just reading it as I scroll it down. All right, very good. I did see you had that uh, Guinness. But, you know, I can't do regular Guinness, man. Was it Guinness draft? Make sure to get the Guinness draft. That's that's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Um, Serena says, pass with above target, above target. Thanks to your Udemy. YouTube videos and exam simulator. You rock big time. No, you rock big time. Congratulations. Did you celebrate well? Did you get some cake? Did you uh, get a couple of beers? I hope so. Hopefully you celebrated well. Uh, you you will you will do just fine. <laughs> okay. Pint of good stuff. Yes. Pint of Guinness is always good stuff. Uh, okay, Michael says, I found the exam question longer to read than the simulator questions, but if you know the mindset, you will do great. The simulator is great to help pace yourself. Uh, everyone broke up there. The simulator is great to help pace yourself such a long exam. Yeah. Remember, guys, the simulator is never going to be exact to the test. I mean, there's no such thing as an exact replica of the PMP test. That would probably be like a problem if they ever do that. It's like a brain dump. No. All right, hey, Andrew and gang, what books do you suggest I buy? Just about to embark. Well, Jessica, if I'm going to suggest a book, obviously, Jessica, I'm going to suggest you buy my book on Amazon. Did you guys know this is the best, Amazon's bestseller for the PMP test? This is all you need. You don't need to, you don't necessarily need to get PMBOK or the Agile Practice Guide. I've read those books for you and I've, condensed it and quote unquote simplified it here so you don't necessarily need any books just go through the study guide i think you're going to be okay jessica man you guys are killing me man i scrolled down i saw a lot more remember i'm trying to finish by by like eight o'clock um completed your tia video course and gave one of the mock exams to come mock two 80 Three percent, the mark in two weeks. Yeah, I think you're gonna be fine. You know what? Review the mindset, do all of the simulators, and then you'll be okay. Okay, now that I have my PMP, can I see your 35 PDUs for renewal? I started having 40 exam but didn't finish it. You know what, clan? The the technically the answer is you can't do that. It's it's you know the, to renew your PMP. It's education knowledge acquired after your PMP not 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 knowledge before your PMP so technically speaking clan you shouldn't be using this 35 hours and, I, and people have asked me this before and the real answer is you shouldn't be using that to renew your PMP because it's knowledge gained before PMP now if you want more knowledge you know what day is today? No, not next week. The following week, come back. The first stream of the month, I do giveaways. Tons of giveaways for PDUs. There are 24 PDUs next month. So come back, clan, next month, the first live stream of next month, and I'll get you some PDUs, okay? Hey, Andrew, first, I want to thank you. I passed my PMP last week, and I got three above target. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, everyone can do it. I'm not English native. So good luck, everyone. Yeah, you know, people, you put in the work. Congratulations. If you put in the work, everyone could pass. You put in the work, you do the studying, you're going to pass, okay? So I attempt to take the exam to the online. What a nightmare. I got booted off because the proctor didn't like my head movements. Sorry to hear that. 
uh, CJ. Yeah, some, uh, sometimes the proctors could be really difficult to deal with. So I'm going to agree with you. You got to, and this takes, you know, take this as a lesson, all of you, that this could be a problem. If you don't, you know, you don't keep your eyes like straight, like I'm doing right now, looking at the screen, you know, don't move your head, don't look around. It could be a problem. Some proctors are very particular on that stuff. But, you know, if there's an investigation, don't worry about it, CJ. You're not going to find anything. Hopefully, you can take your test soon. Good morning, Andrew. Well, good night, Sam. Uh, Stan, this is it's night for me. Andrew, would you consider the video training, the video or training for prepping for a project manager program? Yeah, you know, people ask me that. Uh, Alvin, the, the uh, people want me to do some videos for how to do interviews for, for, for any particular job. Uh, maybe, right now I'm just a little bit busy, but maybe, maybe coming up in a few months or so, in a few weeks. I don't know. Let me see what the time plays out like. <clears throat> Shaw says, passed my PMP yesterday. Okay. Above target. Thank you for all you do. We truly appreciate it. The TI simulator is the key. Mindset six, is 65. Felt like I was with the mindset. Yeah, I'm cheating, man. You know, you're not cheating, man. You just got the knowledge, right? Every, if you have the right knowledge, any test is beatable. Any test is very, uh, every test that is out there, some people say it's easy. Some people say it's hard. It depends how you prepare. If you prepare well and you have the right materials, of course, the test is going to be somewhat easy. If you don't prepare well and you don't study the right material, then, of course, the test will be pretty difficult. So, there is that whole what makes things hard, what makes things easy. Missed the last future. I wasn't here last Tuesday, by the way. Uh, Shah, there were 30 hard questions. Okay. All right, no comment on that. Uh, I had a question. I had, had question. Now I'm going to use the green belt six sigma. Do you recommend you demi material? No, I, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. I try not to mention names of any vendors, but Green Belt, you know, the course itself, if they follow the ASQ outline or allow you to study and pass the ASQ exam, uh, it's a good certification. You know, I have the Green Belt, and it's it's a good certification for people that does process analysis. Clan says, I took my exam at the test center. Everything was fine. Proctor was super. And you know, CJ... That's the thing. You got to get the right proctor. You get the right proctor, it's not so bad. You get the wrong proctor, and it could become pretty difficult. Vinay says, I took the exam last week and passed it. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, took it last week, passed it. So we need to know your course on Udemy in the simulator. Helped me a lot. Thanks for some cake. <laughs> Time for cake. How about a couple of beers? Congratulations, Vinay. Welcome to the world of PMP. You got this. Slice, I took the test on March 9th while wearing my blue shirt. Now, we, before reading this, we know that uh, Slice passed because you wear that blue shirt. You're going to pass your test, of course, and pass with three above targets. I drank beer, but not being much of a cake eater, I had popcorn. Man, what's, that's like eating ear, man. You got to get a piece of cake, man. You... You just finished a major certification. Who doesn't like cake? You got this. Congratulations. The mindset really works. That's the idea. You know the mindset. The exam isn't that difficult. You understand the mindset. You know what you're doing. You guys are going to ace this exam. Hey, Andrew, I passed my exam on Friday uh, for John over here. Above target. Thanks to your demi course and tests. And the test simulator I celebrated with care. Okay, very good. John, you're the first one here so far today that has celebrated well. You got the cake and you got the beer. Congratulations on that, John. Slice, as I was taking the test, took over three hours. I kept hearing your voice from the videos and the mock exam, keeping, keeping me on track. 
Yeah, people have told me that. People people have told me that they have heard my they have heard my my voice yelling at them or screaming at them as they're taking their exam. So you know, one of the things that you gotta do is know your mindset. Not just hear my voice, but know your mindset. Rakesh, hey, I passed PMP on the third of March, thanks to the Udemy course, especially the mindset. All right, Demi course mindset, the mock exam is very good. So, congratulations, to, uh, Chandra. Did you did you celebrate well? Did you get a couple of piece of cake or something like that? Did you did, did you drink a couple of beers? Con By the way, for everybody that told me they passed already, congratulations! Thank you for coming back. Letting us know, keeping the group here motivated. Right on, hey, hello, Andrew. Got the study guide. Using your online course, is one better than the other? Well, if you got the study guide, right? So if you buy this book, it comes with the 35-hour class, right? It says right there, 35 hour, somewhere around it, 35-hour class. The 35-hour class cannot fit into a book. If I was to take everything I told you in that 35-hour class and put it into the book, the book would be like 2,000 pages. So this is more of a, like a cram guide. So if you guys are studying with my Udemy course or you learning course and you want like the cram guide, just the main topic you need to know to pass, that's what this book will do. No study guide. No study guide on the market can cover the sheer amount of topics and explanations I do in those video courses. As a former educator, I really appreciate your teaching style, your enthusiasm, motivation that you bring Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, I tagged you on LinkedIn post, but I passed on all. I passed three above targets. Congratulations. Um, I did go through my LinkedIn today. You know, if I forget to, to if I forget to, 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 to wish you the best on LinkedIn, forgive me, guys. I get so many, so many people do it that sometimes people stuff just get lost. I try to respond to all of them. May 10th, keep studying. You got this, Jill. Uh, I passed my PMP, three above targets, March 12th. Thank you, Andrew, for your simulator and the live class. Hey, congratulations. Did, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of beers? Did you get that? Congratulations again. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, VJ, okay, so we talked to him. You are the man. <laughs> Well, I am a man. I don't know if I'm a dumb man, though. Thank you. Jenny says, Hey, Andrew, passed on 317 with three above targets, all thanks to your course and the YouTube videos. Mindset is the key. Got the simulator. Get the simulator. All right, guys. Jenny says 10 out of 10. Thank, thank you, Jenny. If you guys were debating whether to get the simulator, now you know. Jenny says, hey, make sure you get it. Congratulations, Jenny. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a couple? Nobody's telling me. Only one person said, actually two or three people says, how they, I'm always interested to know how you celebrate. I, I always like to see people, when they finish major accomplishments, that they celebrate well. <clears throat> I'm thinking about taking the TIA prep course. Is there more content in the course? Yes, because it is, It is of course, a live class. Uh, and that's something, I, you know, good you brought up this question. Uh, you guys are going to see a video I'm going to do tomorrow morning. Um, hey, let me ask you guys a question. Would you guys, put in the chat box, would you guys join a live class if you know that I was going to be the teacher? How many of you guys would join a live class if you know that I was going to be coaching you guys to pass the test. How many of you guys would do that? Put in the chat box uh, if you guys would join me in a live class. Not just in a self-paced course, like in the videos or something like that. Okay, so um, I'm reading some of the chat messages so you guys would so what we're going to be doing at TIA now 
a lot of people have asked me about coaching sessions or coming up with study plans or doing more practice questions with them. And um, starting in starting in April, for people that are that people that subscribe to the TIA's live training, you know, TIA edu dot com you guys can check that out people that would people that are subscribed to that i personally i'm going to be doing live coaching sessions in addition to your life so unfortunately i can i can't teach the live class because i have a whole business to run but every wednesday night in addition to this i'm going to be doing um i'm going to be doing live coaching sessions with groups of folks that are subscribed to the live TIA course. Okay, so if you join the live TIA course and you'll have access to my coaching sessions. So in the coaching sessions, I'm going to be covering full topics like we we'll review agile practices, we we'll review plans, we we'll review like things of execution and all your processes specific terminologies we'll be reviewing. These coaching sessions are going to last about three to four hours. Every Wednesday night, you're going to get a chance to talk to me, like actually talk to me because it's a go-to-meeting link, so you can talk to me. And I'm going to be doing more practice questions, uh, new practice questions that the, the simulator doesn't have yet. So if you want me to be your 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 instructor you you're having some issues uh or you just you can't find time to study or you need a little bit more motivation or you need a little bit more personalized training join me in the live tia course register for any date on our calendar uh and i'll be starting it in the first week of april not next week the following wednesday you can join me the way you would get access is you're going to go into your tia portal so all the TIA students has this uh, portal with all their video training and practice tests and all that stuff. So when you guys log in there, there'll be a link at the top that says join the live stream. So you guys can check that out. Go to the TIAEDU.com. Sign up for one of those courses. Our course, it is a live class, so it's not going to be cheap, but it's not... A, you know, some people some people got boot camps for like twenty five hundred dollars. That's insane. Um, to boot twenty five hundred dollars for a boot camp. Oh, that's crazy. It's just a lot of benefit with our live class because, like, if you fail, the PMP would pay for your exam retake. No, nobody does that. Anyhow, check that out. Check out tiaedu.com or just Google Technical Institute of America. You'll, you'll find a website. And just join one of those classes if you want a live class. So I remember I'm not the teacher for the live course. You'll have one of my other colleagues who's very good. All my teachers are good. And then you'll do the coaching sessions with me every Wednesday. Oh, man, you guys got so many questions. <laughs> uh, okay, Winter Storm. Hey, Andrew, passed my PMP with three above target, 320. All right, very good. Simulator helped. With 60% of the questions that remain in 40, you had choices were too hard to decide. Okay, good. You know, all you got to do is keep studying. Congratulations, Winter Storm. You passed. You studied well. The mindset, you had it. You know, that's all that matters. And you did very well. You know, three above targets means you aced the exam. Chandra, okay, we went over. Cake and Guinness. This sounds good right now, guys. Uh, your application section was most helpful. Well, thank you. Don't forget, by the way, the, uh, during those coaching sessions, okay, if you need me to review your application or review some 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 people ask me, people a lot of times people ask me to review their descriptions or help them write the applications. During those sessions with all the folks, I could do that for you. So it's more personalized training. A lot of people have been asking for a long time now for me to do this. And... Generally, I teach a class Monday, Wednesday night, but I'm not teaching that course anymore, so I have the free time. Exam is on the 24th. Got an average of 84 on the 6th. You got this, all right? 
Yeah, you, you know, you're doing well. You got 85% on the actual test. You're doing super fine, man. In particular, we're studying for the plea PMP stand. Uh, just go through the course. Go through the Udemy course. Know your mindset. Do the simulator. You'll pass. What advice do you have for someone from a technical background after passing? Take a hybrid role? I don't know. That's up to you, baby. That's up to you, man. Do you do what, what makes you happy? I don't know. Are you a technical person? You like technical stuff? I'm a tech person. I like tech stuff. I would do technical projects. Um, pure PM means you're going to manage people all day long. Are you okay with that? If you are, then take that PM role. So three days with cake, beers, whiskey, and wine. Wine. That's with the sour grape, and whiskey is horrible. Cake and beer. Mm, that's good. Uh, interesting stuff. Winter Storm says three to four EVM, which is pretty common. I had to use a calculator for one of them. You know, I keep telling you guys, a lot of people say they don't really have to use a calculator. But I keep telling you guys, you're going to need, you should know your formulas. I always tell you guys, know your formulas. Okay, don't walk in there not memorizing your formulas. KS says, thanks for all your help. I passed the PMP three weeks ago. I did a boot camp that wasn't as helpful. And then bought your Udemy course and similar. You know, this is why, you know, one of the things that I've read a lot. Uh, I've read a lot. But people say they took boot camps and it wasn't helpful. So I'm not sure. Do you guys know TIA? We have a, you know, our boot camps are live classes. They come with my material. Those instructors that teaches my boot camps are my instructors. I train them myself. They teach it the way I want them to teach it. And then I'm going to be doing the live sessions. Listen, guys, I'm pretty much guaranteed. And if you take our boot camp, you're going to pass your test. Again, if not, I'm going to pay for your exam retake. So here at TIA, if you fail your PMP, you know, I'm going to pay to make sure you pass it again. So, yeah, I find that. It's a sad story that people pay all this money to attend these boot camps and the materials they get suck. Um, fortunately, it's what happens. Uh, all right. I'm a claims adjuster getting the PN advice on how to transition to the IT side. I don't know what a claims adjuster does uh, to, to how that references to IT. IT, you know, if you want to do IT, you got to do them. You got to start with like A plus and Net plus and Cisco and all that type of stuff. That's how you would, you know, that's how you would get into IT. Gina, hey, uh, scoring an average of 70 on your simulator, would I pass? You know, I would want you to bring that up to around 80%. All right, get that up to around 80%. Review, you know, if whatever you're getting wrong, review it and then watch the videos. Remember, the simulator comes with the videos. Thanks, Andrew, it did help. With okay, thanks. I did it, but you're up three above target. Congratulations. Did you study well? Not, did you settle? Obviously, you studied well. Did you celebrate well? Did you, did you have a couple of pieces of cake? Not just one piece, but a couple of pieces and a couple of beers. Thank you for letting us know. So I took the mock exam from Udemy and got a 76. Thinking of booking the exam early. Many advice and tips. Yeah, 76 is not bad. Um, get the simulator to see what the real test looks like. And then I think you're going to be okay. Early May, if, you're, if you finish the course, just take the exam in a couple of weeks, man. Why are you waiting? Go through the simulator in a day or two and just take your test. There's no point in waiting. Takal says, Hey, Andrew, I'm, I attained PMP 313 with three above targets. Congratulations. Celebrated well with the family. Of course, had the cake and the beer. That's, that's what I like to hear. Very good. Thank you so much for your mindset. YouTube. Uh... YouTube practice questions and the simulator. Okay, very good. See, you celebrated well. All right, keep that up. Isn't that amazing? This is a good weight off your shoulder. Thank you. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP using Udemy um, and the valued simulator. 
Now I want to go for ACP and finish with Demi Coors. Got 95 on your mock exam and got your sir. You're good. So go go and take your ACP. ACP is easier than the PMP. You finish it. You know, you guys have heard me say repeatedly that ACP is a really good follow-up to your PMP. Biswas. Uh, hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP on March 11th with three above target. It's 4 a.m. in India now. I woke up early just to join your live session. So thank you. I refer to you as Guru Ramdial. <laughs> well, thank you, um, the PMP Guru. You know, I should, shouldn't should rename my channel PMP Guru. What do you guys think? Channel PMP Guru. That's a good one. Uh, so congratulations. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Welcome to the PMP Club. And that goes for all of you guys that have passed. Um, did, you, did you get a piece of cake? 4 a.m. Man, I must. you must love me to wake up at 4 a.m. to join us. But you know what? Thank you for joining us because you know why? All of you guys that come back and let us know that your past is encouraging, very motivating for all the folks that are here right now that is studying or don't think they can do it. There's people right in here that don't, don't think that they could pass or it's a lot of work. It's very encouraging for them to see that. Hey, Andrew, may I please have your suggestion on how I could write the ACP experience? That's tough. You know, keep it, use, write your experience in agile terms. It's tough for me to explain that right now. Write it in agile terms. Use the word all the agile ceremonies, the sprint, the sprint review meeting, the backlog. That's how you write it, all right? <clears throat> hey, Andrew, finally got to join your live session. Lots of positive, positive review on Reddit. I've seen that. A lot of people on Reddit use my stuff. I had no reservation in our preparation and God's help on the past two. Congratulations on acing your exam. Did you celebrate well? Hopefully you celebrated well. Now he says, thank God. Yeah. Thank you, AR God. Passed my PMP last week. Thanks to your TIA. Uh, I'm figuring the simulator. Had a brownie and pro processor. I don't know what that is. Um, but you know what? It sounds good. Brownie are no good. They're like, they're like chocolate with bread. It's not as chocolate cake, right? Um, but anyhow, brownies are no good. You should have had a piece of cake instead. Less calories than brownies. But I don't know what this is. Did you have a couple of beers, though? Is that a beer? If it is, congratulations. Welcome to the PMP Club, Nelly. I see you are celebrating well. Hey, Andrew, on your Agile section, Demi Course Exam, thank you for helping me. No problem. You, you got this. Oh, did you guys click the like button? Come on, guys. Click the like button, guys. Did you guys do that? Man, I got to break you guys every week. Hey, Andrew, do you have a suggestions to buy any other book besides your Udemy course uh, for the ACP? I think that's what you're asking me. No, you don't, you don't need anything else. That's more than enough. You already have your PMP. My date is April 2nd. I would like to get your book. Can I have a PDF e-copy? No. You, you can purchase the book from Amazon, though. Uh, Andrew, what score should I look for in a mock exam? I'm trying to get above an 80%. I've enrolled in your giveaways. Thanks for the advice. I've enrolled also to your giveaways. Yeah, you guys subscribe to the channel. Did you guys click the subscribe button? If you want to know the giveaways and when I'm putting them out, you got to subscribe because... Sometimes I just release a video and the giveaways, they finish within hours of me pushing the video out. So subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Are your in-person proctors better than me? You know, they, they, they got, you know, some of the teachers that work here, people say are, there's a few of them that people say are better than me. All right. I, don't, I, I have a big ego and I like to think that I'm the best teacher. But Listen, I hire some of the best teachers out there. I'm very proud of my PMP instructors, and you're not going to regret it. They're all very good. And then you get to have me when you on the coaching session, so you can't go wrong. Thanks for motivating you guys. You guys got this. You will get your PMP. 
When to use fast tracking and crashing? Well, you use fast tracking and crashing when you want to shrink the schedule. When you want to shrink the schedule without raising budget, you fast track. When you want to, f but it's gonna it might increase risk. With crashing, you're gonna add more resources. You're gonna shrink the schedule, but you're gonna add more costs. Did you guys click the like button and hit the subscribe? Um, I just wanted to say thank you as well. Passed on the 18th of March with three above targets. Thanks to the mindset. Hey, congratulations. You guys got to remember now, man, the mindset was something that I created. I was thinking of the boot camp thing. And uh, so many schools are teaching. Imagine there's a lot of schools having these boot camps charging $2,000 and not teaching the mindset. Well, technically, they, they can't really, they, they don't have the mindset because I made it. So, and then people are not passing. Go figure on that. Uh, do I go about the mindset video study pack? Yes, you need to know the mindset. Hey, Andrew, I'm following your Demi course. Just finished your principles and sections domain. Do I have to remember everything that I know? The, that's, if you're doing the Udemy course and you see that section, it says principles and domains. That's PEMBOX 7. Remember, the PEMBOX 7 book has that. And um, you don't need to memorize any of that. Just understand it. The exam isn't going to say what's the, this principle or what's this domain or what's the eight principles or 12 principles, whatever it was. They're not going to do that. You don't need to memorize that. Just just understand it. Are the two 10-minute breaks during the exam excluding? Yes, it is. It's in addition to the 2.30 hours, 2.30 minutes. Uh, hey, Andrew, if the question does not speak about agile or hybrid or traditional, always go with traditional. Or, you know, sometimes on the test, they don't say whether it's agile or, or traditional, but they use the agile terms. They'll say something like, oh, the sprint res the sprint review meeting or the sprint um, the sprint, or the iteration review or the, or the iteration itself. So they're using agile terms, then you know it's an agile question. Hey, Andrew, after getting PMP a few months ago, I've just got a new job with a huge raise. Uh, keep doing what you're doing for everyone. To, for the PMP, it's really worth it. Well, thank you. And you know what? Congratulations to that. You know, that's the idea here, guys. We're going, we're going to get, you know, we're going, we're going to get a certification. Um, we are going to, and hopefully we're going to utilize that certification to better advance, <laughs> importantly, our paycheck. And Roy's, you did that. So thank you. The break does not affect the 10 minute. That is correct. Amber, thank you so much for all that have passed. Come back here to share. I'm thankful for this community. Looking forward to joining the club on Thursday. You got this, Amber. You got this. Uh, okay. Thank you for having passed my PMP last Tuesday with three above target. Use the mock exam in the Udemy. That's all you need. Yes, it is. You go through that, I think you're going to be okay. Man, you guys got so many more. All right. It's all good, Andrew. I still appreciate very much. Big margarita. That's all sugar, man. That's just sweet lemonade. That's all that is. That's horrible. Get a couple of beers, okay? Uh, but you did celebrate well. Janelia Lake says, uh, hopping on from sunny California, man. Sunny California sounds good. It's still a little cold outside here in New York. Let you know I passed on 3.9. Above target on all three domains. Couldn't have done it without you. I did wear a blue shirt and celebrate with your favorite wine. Wine is not my favorite, man. That's sour grape juice. You know that. Get a couple of beers. But you know what, Lake? You did pass. Congratulations. Now go get a couple of beers. Get some cake. Celebrate your major accomplishment. Hopefully you can use it like Roy did and up your salary. Get that better job. That's what we're trying to do here. Uh, hey, Andrew, passed my test last week. Super duper happy. Thanks for your course. It was a game changer for me. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Welcome to the PMP world. All right. Uh, okay, so you guys said you would all join without a doubt. All right. Um,
uh, how long would you have access? One year. So when you join the live class, you can access the coaching session for up to one year. If you're already in our live class, you can start attending the coaching sessions in the first week in in in, in April. Okay. So if you're if you're or if you're one of our live class students, you can join in the first week of April. Hey Andrew, took my exam last week and cleared it with three above targets. There are lots of drag and drops. One EVM finished five minutes of spirits. You barely you almost run the clock out. Celebrated with a Japanese beer and cheesecake. Cheesecake is spoiled milk. You don't want that one. Congratulations, though, on passing your exam. You did celebrate well. I'm proud of you. Cake and beer is always made, even if it's spoiled milk beer. Thank you for letting us know that. Um, Andrew, that is on rebook link to join. I don't know what that means. Uh, in my exam, scheduled for this Friday, any video where I can learn about the mindset? Sorry, I already spent all my funds on all the programs and they didn't teach you the mindset. This is the problem. Other programs and they don't teach the mindset. Why are you going to programs that don't teach you how to pass a test? Emmanuel, you have to get the mindset is in the study guide. It's in the Udemy course. The Udemy course is really cheap. It's like 20 bucks or 10 bucks or something like that. Get, it's not one video. The mindset is a series of videos. So you would need to get the Udemy course if you want to see it. Can we do four mock exam years instead of the simulator? No. The simulator cannot be put on Udemy for a reason. Because the simulator has video explanations of the questions. Udemy doesn't support that. Hey, I passed my PMP on 310, 3 drag and drop, no MBTI. Yeah, people haven't had MBTI in a while now. I did do a video on it last year. 80% agile. It's a lot. I finished with 35 minutes left. Thank you, Andrew. You're the best. No, you're the best. You passed. Thank you. Should you read the book twice? Nah, I don't think you need to read it twice. Go through it once. Review the mindset. The mindset is at the end of the book. All right, uh, 85% simulator. Once you get simulator, you'll be fine. Just passed on March 17th. Well, congratulations to that. Did you celebrate well? Did you celebrate well on St. Patrick's Day? Did you get a? Did you become a? Honor, did you become a? Uh, a celebratory person on St. Patrick's Day? Maybe you got a couple of beers to celebrate that and St. Patrick's Day. That sounds good. From Nigeria, joining for the first time, I've suffered defeat twice, and I'm again going back to the third time. Uh, between your live boot camp and Udemy, which one do you advise? Yeah, it's it's up to you. Some people do better in live classes. Some people do better in self pace. If you need that extra push, or you want to be able to remember the self, the Udemy course, you can't ask questions. It's not a live class. You don't have the motivation of the teacher being there. So if you are a person that can. Have the discipline, maybe the Udemy. If you want a live class, you want to be able to ask me questions, come up with specific study plans for you, review topics you're going to need, then of course the live class makes sense. Uh, and I got my PMP last January after failing twice. So congratulations, sorry about not failing there. Passed PMP six months ago with your help has truly paid off. Was promoted to a full time PM with my current company. Wow. Well, congratulations. This is an amazing story. Uh, guys, take the test. You could be losing money by doubling, by doubting yourself. You know, every day we are not certified. Every day, like for example, some people say, should I invest this money in my PMP? Should I invest, I don't know, if you buy a live class for uh, for like 800 bucks or $1,000, you buy, let's say, just say you spend like two grand on preparation. Is it worth it? Yeah, because... When you're PMP certified, more doors are open. You could be losing out on two thousand dollars a month by not spending two thousand dollars one time. So it's best to, you know, take get your certification as soon as you could, so you can open those doors for you. 
When do we expect the price change in the simulator in uh, April or May? The simulator will go up in price. Guarantee, I think, to like 60 bucks. So if you haven't purchased it, make sure you use it. Hey, I'm taking two days off next week to do a final prep from my PMP on Friday. Go through the go through the simulator, do your uh, do your mindset. Where can you do the mindset video? Check out the Udemy course. Passed my PMP two weeks ago. All above target. Andrew is the real MVP. Mindset is the key user Udemy course. Got the exam simulator closest to the exam to practice the questions. All right, very good. Uh, thank you, well, thank you for letting us know that you aced your exam. Did you celebrate well? Did you, did you get a piece of cake? Hey, I'm going through your Udemy videos and plan to do the four, the 720. Do I still need to buy the book or the videos are enough? Do I still need to buy the book? No, I don't think you need the book. How many questions in the mock? Uh, you know, if you get this, the simulator is more updated than the Udemy one that's on there. Um, go review all the YouTube Andrew's done. Yeah, you guys should do that. Go through and watch all those videos. Is your ITIL still valid? Yes, it is. It's ITIL 4 has not changed. It's still fully valid. None of that has changed at all. Uh, just, uh, Marie, just go to Udemy and put my name in there. Okay, guys, we are done answering questions. Uh, let's go and do some practice questions. Let us do some practice questions with you guys. All right, let's take a look at some uh, practice questions that we have going on here. So I told you guys I'm going to do some practice questions with you guys. Let's go through these questions, guys. I'm going to put a question on the screen. We'll answer it. You guys, I'm going to read it. You guys put the answers in the box. Then I'll explain it to you guys. So let's knock this out here. Let me make sure my pen works. Does my pen work? Where the hell is my pen? All right, the pen does work. All right, very good. Okay, so practice question number one. A hybrid project has the following characteristics. Schedule issues, senior resources are not doing the work correctly. How should the project manager proceed? How should I handle the situation? Where necessary, have the sponsor mentor the senior resources. Replace the battery resources. Conduct training for the senior resources. Begin trying to create a checklist of tasks for all team members. All right, guys, put the answer in the box. Put the answer in the box, guys. Put the answer in the box. All right, put the answers in the box. Okay, we got some C's, we got some D's. Now you got to read the question carefully, okay? Some C and C's, D's, yeah, okay, I'm seeing that. Okay, very good. So the answer here is going to be D. Now, you have to, you know, part of the mindset tells us we have to train the resources. So never give away your work to the sponsor. That's against our mindset. 
replace bad resources. Don't fire people. Okay? It's part of your mindset. Conduct the training. That's technically correct. But where necessary, begin training and create a checklist. You need the checklist because it tells you that there's scheduling issues. So the checklist can help with schedule and you're doing the training. So that's why D is better than C. All right, good. Practice question number two. An unofficial communication channel was set up by a project team member on a hybrid project. The project manager was not previously aware of the channel, but has discovered that other team members are using it inappropriately. How should the project manager handle the situation? Remove all team members who are using the channel. Ask the team to refrain from using the blog and then review it. Shut down the channel. Uh, report to this, report the issue to the compliance officer. Use the mindset, guys. See if you guys can get this right. Let's see what you guys got. Mm-hmm. All right, put the answers in the box. Okay, guys, the answer here is, so if you use your mindset, removing people, you don't fire people. Reporting someone, (laughs) that's part of mindset. Don't report people to other people. Don't be a snitch. You have to deal with the problems. Confront the problem yourself. And don't shut things down. Review things. See if it's adequate for the project. So what you're going to do is you're going to review it. In this one, you're just shutting it down. You're not even reviewing it. So this here would make better sense. All right, review with that with the mindset. Jazz. All right, uh, thanks, Andrew. I passed three above target mindsets. Get separate. Carrot cake and IPA. Now that's good stuff, man. Carrot cake and IPA. It's good. Oh, I forgot to change the question. All right, congratulations on that, Jazz. Um. What is the appropriate action to take to ensure that the deliverables to the project are realistic? Schedule a meeting with the sponsor to deal with the resource issues. Make sure all concerns are documented in the issue log for further review. Begin identifying risk and preventive actions. Run a feasibility study and and assess and consider a result. All right. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Okay, we got a lot of D's, a lot of D's. All right, let's see what the choice is here. D is, did you guys click the like button? Come on, guys, click the like button. Uh, All right, run a feasibility study. Yes, why? Well, you want to ensure that the deliverables are realistic. It's something you can do before the project gets started. 
So schedule a meeting spot to deal with the resource. This is something you're going to do and revise the project charter accordingly. It's something you should do maybe before you get into the charter. Make sure all concerned document the issue log. They are concerns, but you still need to determine if it's realistic or not. Begin identifying risk and preventive action. That's going to happen in planning. This is before the charter is even done. So the best thing to do is a feasibility study. Practice question number four. What should the project manager do before presenting new risk information that can affect key project milestones? A, review the risk register and the risk report. Review the process assets and risk register. Review the risk management plan, risk report. Review the risk report and lesson learned. Choose your best answer here, guys. Choose your best answer. All right, guys, put the answers in the box. Okay, so a lot of you guys, so remember now, when you're answering, you want to see, you know, what exactly, um, what exactly are they trying to, to ask? Well, a lot of you guys, so before presenting new risks, that could affect it, what you want to do is you want to document the risks. The risk register definitely has a list of risks. So does the risk report. The risk register has the individual risks. The risk report will contain the overall risks. So those two will tell you the risks. A lot of you guys said B, the process assets are just templates. They're not really going to help you here. The risk management plan would, but the risk, the risk register is better than the risk report. So that eliminates this and this. Review the risk report. Now, you want to review the risk report and the risk registers. Remember, the risk register has all the risks and the risk report has all those individual risks. Practice question number five. A very large international project is nearing completion and closeout, completion and closeout documents are being prepared. What should the project manager do to gain acceptance of the project deliverables? Get the steering committee sign off. Get the project, get the director of project manager's business unit sign off. Sponsor sign off. International managers to sign off. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. So when you need a sign-off, where do you go? The answer is you go to the sponsor for a sign-off. That is correct. The best answer, anytime you need anything, anything approved, always approach your sponsor. Practice question number six. Early in an agile project, the PM trained the entire team on company operations. Now six months into the project, productivity is declining due to new team members who lack the training. How should you proceed? Tell the current team members to provide training and support and schedule an additional kickoff. Ask the new members to request help. Assign new members who have the relevant experience. Relocate new members and document the issues. Accept this as a normal progression and update the schedule. All right. <clears throat> Put the answer in the box. Put the answers in the box.
Okay, guys, put the answers in the box. Okay, we got a lot of A's. The answer is A, and that is correct. So let's go through why the others. You don't want to take no action. Part of the mindset, the answer is never to take no action. So A is just, D is just taking no action. Never the answer. Assign new members. Assign new members of the relevant. Relocate. You're firing people. No good. Ask the new members to request help. That means you're telling other people to solve your problem or your issues? No. Tell team members to provide training and support. So in this one, you got to get the right training. And if it's these team members that's going to give you the right training, then this is the best answer. So A is definitely a better answer. A project has grown larger, and because of this, the project sponsor is being replaced by steering committee. How should the project manager handle this? Ensure the plan is maintained. The new stakeholders are mostly focused. Schedule a time to, for the steering committee to meet the team. Ensure the steering committee is, is included with the status report. Check communication not being tailored to the steering committee. All right, put your answers in the box. Uh, so, so, are, so are t I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Hello, sir. I'd like to thank you for your simplified version of teaching PMP which definitely helped me to ace and square above target. Well, congratulations. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a big piece of cake? Hopefully you did. Uh, and I'm so, I was so happy to hear that you guys passed. You guys don't know, I really missed last week, man. I really wish I could have done uh, last week. Seeing you guys pass is the best thing. Okay, happy that I'm part of your pro. If you want to do something next after your PMP, you know, I would recommend you do your ACP. That's the one I would recommend most people do. All right, practice question. A project is growing larger, and because it's growing larger, it's a steering committee. So look at this. You always want to take an action to solve a problem. It's part of your mindset. The new state will focus on the ensuring the original plan is maintained. That's not changing anything. Follow the original plan. Um, this doesn't even mean anything. So the best thing here is to tailor the communication to the actual steering committee, see if it's still valid to the steering committee. That's going to be part of your mindset. Practice question number eight. After initially accepting the final product, client changed their mind the next day, and now, oops, oh darn, hold on, guys. Uh, change of mind, and now I'm not sure if the product is acceptable. What should a project manager do first? Well, review the mindset, go over the quality management, go over the requirements management, consult the project chart. All right, make your best choice. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box.
Okay, guys. Well, we got a lot of A's. A lot of A's. Okay. So the answer is yes. Review the acceptance criteria. Go over the project quality management plan. No, that's not. They said it's not being accepted. Urban requirements documentation is pretty far out. What would it take for them to accept it? It says they didn't accept it. And we do have the acceptance criteria. Making that the best answer. All right. I always give you guys one of these questions. You guys should know that. Put the answer in the box, guys. Let me know which one you guys got. All right. So you have an SPI of 0.8, CPI of 1.1. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, guys, very good. I see you guys got your EVM correctly. If something is SPI is 0.8, it's not, it's not good. It's got to be one and over. 0.8 means you're 20% behind schedule. So that is correct. And 1.1 is good. Anything one and over is good. That means you are under budget by 10%. So these two are correct. Everything else is not correct. Okay, I do have a drag and drop for you guys. Uh, all right, drag the agile term, the agile term to the to the agile process. Put that in there, guys. Drag the agile term to the agile process there. Okay, so let's put this where it belongs. I see you guys are doing it well. So when it comes to uh, iteration, that's going to be something that's using XP. Scrum uses Sprint. Lean eliminates waste. And Kanban 
will uh, limit the work in progress. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you guys for attending my stream tonight. Hopefully, you guys learned something well. Uh, don't forget what I told you guys. If you want to do a coaching session with me, just join the live classes. We'll do some coaching session. I'll help you out if you need it. And I'll see you guys next week. All right? So I want you guys to keep studying. Keep practicing what you need to practice your questions. Don't give up. You know, you, you, you got this. You're going to do this. What I want you guys to do is go through your videos, do your practice questions, pass your exam, come back and let me know when you pass your test. So for all of you guys that came back and let me know that you passed your test, thank you for that. Uh, hopefully I can see you guys in a few weeks. Come back. Don't forget to do a free giveaway. Watch the... Subscribe to the channel. By the way, did you guys click the like button? Subscribe to the channel so that way when I do giveaways, you'll, you'll be the first to get them. If you're taking your exam in... If you're taking your exam in a few days, I wish you the best of luck. If you're after, if you're taking it in more than seven days, continue studying. I'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. And I'll see you guys in a week. So have a great week, evening, day, morning, weekend, whatever it is on your side. I'll see you guys next week, guys. Keep studying, guys.